a new contender enters the noise reduction ring. Welcome to SETI Astro. Okay, quickly, we can get it from uh, deepsnrastro.com. Here's the, here's the page. There's a uh, download page for it. Essentially, if you already have any tensor flows installed in Pix Insight, whether you're using StarNet, StarNet 2, um, Blur Exterminator, um, you won't have to install another TensorFlow. Just do the one that you have StarNet, and then that's going to download a zip. You can extract that zip, and uh, I'll show you how to install in Pix Insight in a second. And then if you look at the pages about me, it's the same person that brought us StarNet. So a great, um, amazingly free tool here uh, for noise reduction. We'll compare it to NoiseX. We've seen plenty of uh, other comparisons between NoiseX and Graxpert Denoise. Graxpert Denoise taking an immensely long time and getting suboptimal results. So I'm excited to check out Deep SNR. Okay, once you've downloaded its uh, zip file, when you open up the zip file, there's a, a weights.pb and a pxb.dll, these two files. These two files you need to put in your bin folder in the main PixInsight. So for my computer, it's drive C, program files, PixInsight, bin. Put these two files in that bin folder. Once you've done that, go to process, all the way down under modules. You're going to click install modules and it should already default the directory to that bin folder. Just click search. It'll say it found a new process, install it, and you'll have deep SNR under your processes. The menu's super simple. It's a strength and whether you have linear data or not. Uh, so everybody loves simple. And let's go ahead and start comparing it. It is only for RGB images at the moment. So I got a bunch of RGB images here. I do want to test on some of them. Some of them I've shot with my mono camera and I've just did channel combination like you would for an RBG, RGB image. Some of them were shot with one shot color. And then I do want to uh, test it outside the bounds that it's not intended for right now. I got some narrow band data up here. I'm going to try to uh, just combine them into RGB images and hit it with deep SNR and see how it does. We could also just trick it uh, into thinking that a grayscale image is RGB and, and we'll try that test too. Okay, we have uh, linear data. Uh, just cloned it. We're going to do deep SNR on one, noise X on the other. Currently, let's just check out default settings, a full blast with deep SNR, the 0.9 with noise X, and if we got a tweak from there, we can. I also want to say that deep SNR is relatively fast. It really does use the tensor cores. Uh, it was 30 seconds to do the image. Noise X still is the fastest. It was 17 seconds for me. This is a relatively large image. Um, so substantially faster than Graxpert Denoise. Uh, it's, it's right in the ballpark there. Now we're really going to zoom in and do some pixel peeping here. So we got them um, um, at the same scale. And let's go ahead and just see what we got. This is Deep SNR and Noise X. Deep SNR. Noise X. You could really see how much more detail Deep SNR has kept while absolutely taking care of the noise. Noise X, it's very smooth and just a loss on a lot of those little tiny, little tiny details. It is startling. Let's just look at another area. Now let's go to way down here. Deep SNR. And noise X again noise X just smooths everything out way too much in comparison to deep SNR so let's try to give it some bit of a, a benefit of the doubt here let's let's take it down to like 0.65 on noise X and just see if we can get even a comparison or if 
deep SNR really is maintaining the signal here better. All right, let's 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 go ahead and look now. That's done. Deep SNR and Noise X. Noise X is still smoothing out items that shouldn't be smoothed out. And now we're getting graininess from noise on Noise X. Whereas in Deep SNR is maintaining those small little structures and completely smoothing out the noise. There's just no noise. All right, uh, so that's definitely a win of Deep SNR. Let's uh, check some other examples. Okay, this is Triangulum. I'm gonna run Deep SNR and Noise X on these. All right, it's done. Let's zoom way in again and, and just see what we can see. There's Deep SNR. And noise X. This time I turned noise X down a little bit to try to preserve some details better. So we're getting more graininess from the noise that Deep SNR completely eliminates. And again, Deep SNR is just maintaining all these little subtle details that noise X isn't. All, all these all throughout the galaxy are just popping out so much more in Deep SNR than in noise X. Man, I feel like I'm going to have to go ahead and and reprocess a bunch of my images now. Let's look down in here around this structure. Deep SNR and Noise X. Deep SNR is just maintaining all those little tiny details in there while eliminating the noise. And Noise X, uh, it, it just it's just not as much contrast around those little de details. And the graininess is higher even um, when we're trying to preserve it. If we want to get the same level of noise reduction, you got to go full full blast with Noise X. And now when we compare it, you can see how much is just gone. Here's Deep SNR and Noise X. Deep SNR, Noise X. It's just so much gone. Deep SNR is maintaining all those little details while just crushing the noise out. Okay, this image should look familiar. Uh, we just processed it. So let's see how the two stack up. We got Noise X on the left, Deep SNR on the right again. So let's just go in here and zoom right up into this reflection portion. There's deep SNR and noise X. Deep SNR just completely obliterates the noise and maintains beautiful structure. Here, let's let's really get in there and see if you could see it better. I'm really looking at this detail here. And here's Noise X and Deep SNR. Noise X, Deep SNR. I can't believe how much detail it, it's maintaining. Um, just insane. Let's, let's go down deep into here. There's Deep SNR and Noise X. It's like it's different data. Um, okay, so yeah, I might have to reprocess some old old images now. Um, we'll do one more RGB and then we're gonna try to push it outside of bounds of what it was trained on. Okay, we're done. Let's zoom in and see what we can see here. There's deep SNR and noise X. I think now we're seeing a, a bit of graininess on Deep SNR in this particular example, where Noise X is definitely smoother on some of the outer edges here. Yeah, let's kind of just go off into the middle here. 
Okay, in this case, the background is handled much better with noise X than deep SNR. I do want to look at this little galaxy over here first, and then we'll maybe rerun deep SNR at a different setting. Yeah, so let's rerun deep SNR on a different setting. Let's give it like a 6.5. Okay, rerunning uh, deep SNR. Although it maintains uh, some of the structure better, it is a little grainier than uh, Noise X. I do like that it is maintaining some structure better. So then it's preference. A little extra structure, a little more noise versus a little better smoothness, a little less structure with uh, Noise X. I would say for a free noise reduction tool. Deep SNR has won 80% of the images I've just tried with this last one kind of being up to your personal taste, which one you're, you're preferring. So huge, huge win for Deep SNR. In my opinion, I'm definitely going to be keeping this in my toolbox uh, to try to uh, run that and noise X on my RGB images and take which one I want. But if you don't have noise X, get deep SNR. Blows that uh, Grax per D noise out of the water uh, since it's beating noise X on uh, most of the images so far. Now let's try to take it outside the realm it was designed for. It doesn't have support for grayscale images. But uh, we could try, right? Uh, let's just go up to image color spaces, tell PixInsight this is an RGB image, and uh, we just try running deep SNR on it and, and see what happens. Okay, it's, uh, it's done. Let's go ahead and, and zoom in. We could at least uh, do an undo and redo. That's before. And after, there's really not a whole lot of difference. Um, this is pretty decent data as well. This is after and before. Okay, so it uh, forcing it to run on a grayscale image still doesn't uh, have amazing results. But we can just compare it to Noise Exterminator here. Noise X. Deep SNR. Yes, Noise X uh, definitely does a better job with the noise on the grayscale image. That's to be expected, right? He said uh, this is not designed for grayscale images right now. I thought we would just have a little fun and give it a go to see what it would look like. This is Noise X. Deep SNR. But... We can try to combine our mono grayscale images into a color image and see how deep SNR uh, works with it. Okay, I combined them in three different ways. Um, two different kind of SHO palettes and a 4X palette. Two are linear, 4X needs to be stretched. Um, so I'm going to run it on the two linears first and then uncheck linear data and run it on 4X. Whew, okay. Got all that done. Let's do some uh, quick comparisons between the two. I am excited to see what Deep SNR did on these colorized mono images. All right, looking down at the 4X palette, uh, Noise X is the clear, the clear champion there. A lot smoother. Um, detail is still there. We're getting um, some of this dotted posturization. I don't even know what what it is um, in comparison between the two. Here's uh, even further zoomed in. Noise X over here handles all that well. It's just quite dotted. And I think we're going to find it similarly in other areas here too. Yeah, Noise X, the, the clear winner there. On the linear data, on the other hand, remember 4X was nonlinear. But on the linear data, 
deep SNR does a much better job and is much more comparable to Noise Exterminator here. We'll, we'll blink them here. So even though we have a win for Noisex here, um, for the free tool, if you don't have Noisex, you better be getting deep SNR. Let's go up to uh, another area over here. There's deep SNR and Noisex. Yeah, much closer results. Noisex is the clear winner, but for Grayscale images that we put together into a color image. I think uh, Deep SNR is doing it very well considering it wasn't trained on any of this data. Yes, there's some color modeling in the the dark areas there, some some pixelization, but that could be handled uh, in other various means, splitting out the luminance, convolving the colors, and, and merging them back together. But for a free tool that isn't supposed to work on this image, I think it's doing pretty darn good. This was an LRGB H SHO image, uh, linear as well. Here's Deep SNR and Noise X. Again, much closer. Even though Deep SNR is a little noisier, it looks like it is preserving some of the contrast better than noise exterminator and again this is not the data it was designed for but man it does a pretty darn good job here's deep snr and noise x so my conclusion uh deep snr crazy amazing on normal rgb images like galaxies uh where the majority of the time you're getting better results than with noise exterminator it's free. It's under active development. Uh, the creator intends on uh, continuing training grayscale images and mono data to improve. And I know this isn't the end of the story either because Russ is working on uh, new rounds of Noise Exterminator 2. So get Deep SNR, give it a go. Again, uh, deepsnrastro.com where you can get the download. There's the about me of the creator and check out the other works. Uh, there, there's a great website they're currently working on. Beautiful images on Astrobin. Let's get the word out there about Deep SNR. Uh, again, I'm just blown away that uh, there's something like this out there. Please comment, like, and subscribe.